limit as x approaches 4 from the right of the arctangent of 1 over x minus 4. So let's first remind ourselves what is the arctangent? Well, in order to really think about that, let's start with what is the tangent? Well, the tangent function is defined only between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. That's not quite true. It's, it's defined in other, we'll talk about where it's defined, where its domain is. Okay, so it has a vertical asymptote at negative pi over 2 and a vertical asymptote at pi over 2. and it passes through the origin and it has this general shape. It gets larger and larger like that and it's asymptotic to pi over 2 and then below the x-axis has this general shape and it's asymptotic to uh, negative pi over 2, these vertical lines. And it actually repeats so what you see, this, this is its period, its period is pi we talked about the period of cosine and sine functions in a different video and we said the period is typically 2 pi unless there's some kind of a shift for the tangent function the period is typically pi and you can go back to the unit circle and see why this is true as well right if you have your unit circle and this is 0 and this is pi over 2 and this is negative pi over 2 it's undefined at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 because the coordinate here is one is uh, 0, 1 and the coordinate here is 0, negative 1 so the tangent is opposite over adjacent which is y over x right which is 1 over 0 and that's undefined and down here it's negative 1 over 0 which is undefined so that's why you get these vertical asymptotes at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 and everywhere else in between it's defined and then this repeats many many times to the left and to the right infinitely many times um, but the whole point of this was that we were drawing the tangent graph this is y equals tan theta because we wanted to draw the arctangent graph y equals arctan arctan x and arctangent is the Remember, any time arctangent is the inverse function of the tangent function. So if we were to draw the line y equals x here, then we could draw the mirror image of that, and that would give us the arctan. So let's do that. We'll do that on a separate curve so we can see it. It's literally going to be the mirror image of this about the line y equals x. So what will that look like? Well, the domain of the tangent becomes the range, and the opposite's true too the range becomes the domain so they interchange their x and y so we we'll draw horizontal asymptotes instead of vertical asymptotes and the curve will now approach pi over 2 this is pi over 2 on the y-axis and negative pi over 2 on the y-axis below and now the domain instead of excluding certain values it actually includes all real numbers because the range previously was all real numbers so now the domain is all real numbers so this is the arctan function this is what it looks like we're doing all of this so that we can examine what is the limit as x approaches 4 from the right of 1, o, um, 1 over x minus 4 well, let's just deal with 1 over x minus 4 for a minute we can't make a direct substitution because if we put 4 in there we'll get 1 over 0 which is undefined and that would be um, but let's see what what is the limit as x approaches 4 from the right of just 1 over x minus 4 if, well what we find out is if we try to make a direct substitution and we put 4 in here then this thing would become 1 over 0 which is infinitely large so we would say the limit doesn't exist but we know that this would become a large number Right, so even though it doesn't exist, we can think of it as a large number. So what's the arctangent of a very large number? We can almost rewrite this limit as if you could kind of pretend infinity was a number for a minute. Just when you see infinity, think large number. You could rewrite this limit as x approaches infinity of arctan x. 
right? You see how that's the same thing? That's like saying as 1 over x minus 4 becomes infinitely large, what are, where does the arctan go? And for that, we come right back to our graph. As 1 over x minus 4 becomes infinitely large, so think of very large numbers on the x-axis, what does the y-coordinate of the arctangent graph approach? Well, it approaches its, its asymptote there. It's going to approach pi over 2, and that's the answer.